Hello everybody, welcome to Sana Nami Tindo Kama Kawa Kama Ada Tuko Hapa and we are doing this bigger and better and today in the building Kama Kawaida Simunojona Waleti and are the best guests Today in the building we have another amazing writer. He has written a book by the name of The Focus Bullet. We'll be getting to know him and also know his journey of writing and his process. And what goes behind the writing of his book. So stay put, don't touch that dial. Hapa ni Sanana Mitindo Wema TV. Stay here. Karibu sana Bona Douglas. Thank you. I like the introduction. Yes, you like the introduction. <laughs> I like the introduction and the energy. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. You yes. also have some good energy. Oh, right? yo, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and I like how you look. You look amazing. Thank you, thank yes, you. Yes. yes. So, Karibu Sana, maybe someone is watching the show mm -hmm. and does not know who Douglas is. Mm -hmm. Douglas, the writer, mm -hmm. as Barack knows you. Yes. So, maybe you can introduce yourself. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Douglas. Douglas is a simple man. Uh -huh. I'll say so. I'll say by saying so. <laughs> nice. And, and here is... Um, is another grandmaster uh -huh. of inspiration. Amazing. I love the vocabulary. Pushing hard <laughs> to get this society empowered. Nice. A hungry man uh -huh. ready to bring forth results. Amazing. To the suffering society. Amazing. Douglas is a trainer, a corporate trainer. Uh -huh. You've heard I'm a, I'm a writer. Yes. All these years from a very tender age, um, having an aspiration mm -hmm. to inspire the humanity. Yes. Trying to figure out how this one can be done. I'm still a man in a process to be made, to be manifested. I'm really uh, looking forward <clears throat> that we have a society that everyone understands his, her value system. Yes. Wake up, not to wait for an approval of men, mm -hmm. not to wait for an approval of a woman, mm -hmm. but an, a self-approval that you can do it. Amazing, amazing. I yes. love the introduction. That yes. is really inspiring Thank you. enough. Yes, but yes. you can tell us more about yourself, Douglas. <coughs> mm -hmm. Where did you grow up? This, this man who is so hungry and mm -hmm. passionate about inspiring this generation, mm -hmm. where did you grow up? Where did you go to primary? Where did you go to high school? Okay, I'll say my story. Okay, my story is long. Yes, let's talk about it. That's all my, <laughs> It's long in a way that, um, okay, back then, about, uh, I'll say, uh, 15 years ago. 15 years ago. I remember I was in class four. Uh -huh. A class four and you're getting a boy who is able to stand and tell the, the Sunday school children uh -huh. that God wants you to live right. Amen. Oh my God. A very small boy. <laughs> and at a given time, you could look at me like there was no hope. I remember we, our family has struggled uh -huh. all, all through. Uh -huh. My mother waking up earlier than every one of us uh -huh. to go out there to get something for our stomachs. Uh -huh. Struggling hard. I remember those days coming back from school and uh, looking forward to get something. For, for yourself, only to check there was nothing mm -hmm. to it. Life wasn't easy. Uh, we lived by the grace of God. Amen. Pushing up, up to the level of um, high school, mm -hmm. <clears throat> when uh, you are guaranteed as much as maybe you're smart in class, yes. but the people also there who are saying as much as is bright, mm -hmm. But where is the money going to come from so yes. that he continues with his acad uh, academics? Yes. So in that moment, you see God coming through. Amen. I'm a person who's seen God with my eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm, not an, I'm not a person, a kind of a person who will hear uh, to what the surrounding is speaking and look and listen to it and bow down. Mm -hmm. I always look up. Yes. Right from, actually, I've just pursued my KCP. I've done so well, topping in um, uh, national examination, actually, in my primary school. Which school is that? Uh, okay, I, I don't think if you can remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's called Namuninge. Namuninge is, is a school, actually, in the um, western part of Kenya. Okay. 
So uh, we, we had, I had no hope because we had no savings because I know some of the parents are so maybe clever or yes. maybe they're capable of getting yes. something planting here and there mm -hmm. to make sure that maybe after my son, my daughter's done KCP or the results are out, yes. you're able to do it. To, I'm able to pay school fees. Yes. We had even zero wow. on the account to make sure that I, I continue to proceed with my, my education. Yes. So in that moment, that's when uh, my head teacher come, wants to come in. Mm -hmm. I remember by then um, my brother trying to come in. Mm -hmm. My brother trying to give me hope, not that because he was prepared and had some good money mm -hmm. to make sure that I maybe he's going to pay for me. Yes. He, also, he was also a believer. Mm -hmm. You know, he maybe, he, uh, I believe he said maybe it will happen by faith. Yes. So going back to the school, he had uh, just actually left some about three, four years down the line. Mm -hmm. uh, told me, Douglas, don't worry, you go back to school. Mm -hmm. My head teacher calls me, Douglas, how is the progress? So I'm trying to say, okay, there is no hope. Actually, I call a spade a spade. Mm -hmm. Now, my head teacher tells me this. <clears throat> what you do is this. This is the letter. Yes. Actually, I was called like a Kakamega boys. And uh, the school fees by then was about 30,000, thereabout. Mm -hmm. Now, looking at it, that is uh, less uh, than normal from one shopping. Yes. Looking at it, I have no, nothing like to count on. Yes. I have no money for the uniform, I have no money for anything, mm -hmm. as far as by that time was concerned. Yes. What do I do? Mm -hmm. This head teacher is telling me, okay, what you do tomorrow, come here. We go and check out because my son was in that particular school. Okay. He's not telling me that maybe I'm going to pay for you this part of, I'm going to sponsor you. Mm -hmm. The thing is, he's giving me hope. Mm -hmm. So that is about two weeks when other students have already reported. Wow. Wow. So what do I do? You wait. Now, my brother comes in, tells me I've talked to the principal of this particular school. Okay, I need uh, just prepare, just um, make sure that you're ready for school, for high school. Yes. And um, I remember three weeks down the line, the letter comes in from a different school that actually I, I, I had not been called. Yes. So that letter comes in, trying to figure out now that this letter has come in, are we sure that we are going to cater for all these bills that have been mm -hmm. listed? Yes. We were not able. Mm -hmm. I remember reporting to my high school, mm -hmm. my former high school actually, with the primary school uniform. Wow. No single shilling. I remember my mother tried hard to buy my box mm -hmm. and uh, some few, like I remember I had some uh, two bar soaps. Mm -hmm some a good number of uh, tissue papers mm. or rolls yes. so that uh, at least I start mm. getting to the school thinking that now everything has been organized everything is okay is yes I, I went with my dad <coughs> getting there I within that we waited for some time the principal was not there yes so my dad was forced to leave mm -hmm. saying that uh, I've talked to so and so will come and uh, sort you out mm. So, uh, a young man, I do not know anybody in that particular school. I do not have anything you to have do. Primary school uniform. I have actually in a very, in a green, in a green, a short. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, waiting for anything to come through. Uh -huh. And uh, about five hours, because I remember getting to that school at about uh, 10 in the morning. Mm -hmm. At three, I was still waiting. Jeez. Now, uh, I remember the DOS of that particular school comes to me and asks me, oh, young man, what are you doing here? Yeah. I saw you, I've been seeing you about since uh, about 10. You're still here. What's not happening? Mm. Uh, okay, I, I said uh, that uh, my brother has uh, talked to the principal. But he told me, okay, he said, the principal is not around. What are you talking about? Mm. So, come. He actually told me, let me go talk to the deputy principal because the one that is around. Yes. <clears throat> Maybe we see the way forward. Mm. I think he went, talked to the deputy principal, came back, mm -hmm. and he told me, okay, what you do, I'm calling someone to come take you to? The dormitory. To the dormitory, actually. Wow. <clears throat> wow. How Anything has been paid? paid? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> the, school, uh, the, the school uniform catered for? No. What? So, uh, I called one of the students there who took me to the dormitory. Life mm -hmm. began. Mm -hmm. 
I remember uh, two weeks down the line, still I was operating in a, my primary school in farm. Jeez, in a green short. So desperate, boy. <laughs> looking back, looking forward, no hope. No hope. I remember there was a teacher actually in the course of the week who came and uh, saw me when uh, actually the, the, the teacher on duty. Mm -hmm. uh, people are running to class, saw me different from the rest of the students. Mm -hmm. Come here! Who told you that is the school uniform of this school? <laughs> so, Ukona was wasi, so what do I do? Nikaenda. Can I go to the store and make sure you get uniforms? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? It has not been paid for. Went to the store. The store clerk looked at me and said, Okay, you mean up to now you've not been given the school uniform? I said yes. What? I know you are, your brother was in this school, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. In a moment, picked uh, three trousers, shirts there. Size, like I think, actually they know, mm -hmm. they look at you, yes. they, t they are able mm -hmm. to tell. Mm -hmm. They gave me the uniforms, two pairs. For free. Oh my God. <laughs> so that is how I became part of that school. Okay. If I tell you, I do not know how the rest of the school fees was paid, was paid mm. until the last minute I left that school as the head student. God is faithful. The faithfulness of God. Amen. Let's go after 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 high school. What next? Now after high school. Now, you, you believe you've done so well. Yes. But now, uh, is that hope? Because we knew uh, if you've done so well, mm -hmm. definitely you'll get somebody. You just go, the government will Sponsor. take care of the rest. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm done with my high school. Mm -hmm. I'm underage. Yes. Going to um, my, my town, mm -hmm. hometown, mm -hmm. supermarket, yes. to ask for a job, no ID, no academic credentials. Right. Okay. Interesting. This man looked at me. Young man, mm. are you serious? Mm. You have no ID. We do not know who you are. Mm. You, you are small like this. Mm. You do not have anything to show that you've gone to school. You want a job. What do you mean? I, I said, okay, I need a job. I have no hope. There is nothing else. There, I just did my KCP the other day. Mm. The results are about to come out. Yes. Or if you won't mind, can you check on my mock mm. results? That's so encouraging. Mm. You look at them, you like them. And <laughs> this man mm. told me we can't do that. Mm. Number one, we'll be employing you and you are underage, mm. which is risky. Child labor. That is it. Mm. So I perceived this guy has denied me a chance to work for this particular supermarket. Mm -hmm. Why was I doing that? Mm -hmm. Because at my home, still we are struggling hard. Yes. Things were, uh, will I say, they were thick. Mm -hmm. Trying to see the other end, mm -hmm. seeing the other day, mm -hmm. it was by the grace of God. Amen. Filled with the optimism that one day mm -hmm. God will remember us. Amen. <clears throat> No rich uncle, <coughs> sorry, no rich dad, no, 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 no rich aunt that will come through for you. But believing that one day, God will see me through. Amen. Now, after that, now I, I believed I will still get another chance. I went to another supermarket. Wow. I, I, maybe if you've heard about the supermarkets of Bungoma, you will hear about Haitius. Mm -hmm. I went there, met uh, the guy, I, I actually I referred to, called the manager. I told, okay, boss, hi, my name is Douglas. I had drafted a very simple CV. Mm. My name is Douglas. Mm. Uh, I'm so and so. I actually left this school uh, mm. some, like a month ago. Mm. I need a job. Mm. He told me, okay, he went through my CV. He told me, okay, Douglas, that's good. I've seen your CV. Where are your academic credentials? Mm. I told him they're yet to be out. Mm. So I think you can absorb me. Then, uh, as we wait, as we wait. Yes. okay, that's mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Looked at me, said, That's okay. Mm -hmm. where, where, where is your ID? Mm -hmm. Tell them, Okay, my ID, uh, I'm 17. Wow, I don't have an ID. Tell me, Douglas, we can't employ you. Why? 
you do not have an ID, you do not have the qualifications that we need. So I asked him, boss, will you employ me or you don't want to employ me? Mm. I'll say I was rude, but poverty Jeez. doesn't know that. Left that desperate, thinking of uh, the other way. Mm. How do I go by? Mm -hmm. Moved around that town. I went to, uh, I think when I was moving, mm -hmm. <coughs> I saw a flyer mm -hmm. sticked on an uh, electricity post. Yes. Uh, jobs, jobs, jobs. I have from Fall liver. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a job? Are you looking for a job? I said, come on. There is it. I picked my, my Kabambe phone. Yes. You called. I called. <laughs> Hello, my name is Douglas. I've seen on this post that you're looking for somebody, for people yeah. to, to work with. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. They told me, okay, come to our office tomorrow by 8. Yes. I'll be there. Mm. I made sure that, I remember I didn't have even, even fare mm. to town. Mm. I trained. I woke up by 5. Very young man, but full of energy. Yes. Trying to make sure that poverty is not mentioned near me. Amen. So, waking up at 5, trick, by 6.30 I was in that office. Mm -hmm. Hey, my name is Douglas, I called yesterday, you told me to be here by 8. Mm -hmm. But I'm here yeah. at 6. .30. Yes, I'm here to make ah. sure that at least I'm, I didn't, I didn't want to delay, I didn't want yes. to be late. Yes. <clears throat> okay, Douglas, so uh, this is the list of uh, what we will need from you. Mm -hmm. We need, uh, do you have a uh, Form 4 certificate? No, I don't, have. I don't have. Do you have an ID? I don't have. I have a CV. That lady looked at me. More calm. Don't worry, let me talk to my boss. I get back. Mm. So to me, I think um, I had a mentality not to get, um, like I was after any job, as long as I'm getting something yes. to keep me moving yes. as i know i mm. wait for the university mm. or whatever mm. so after some few minutes she came back told me okay douglas it is so hard mm. but is it possible that you get um a waiting card mm. there is uh, the the, uh, card uh, from from, yeah, from, from my chief yes okay we'll that is the only thing you want mm. it's okay then now uh, when the form four results are out make sure you bring them mm. So Douglas left quite smiling. Mm. Uh, I remember leaving the place, I think it was about now. Mm. <coughs> Going to my village uh, chief, mm. assistant chief, because mm. I had met him severally. Okay. Hello, sir. The father in a waiting card. Mm. Uh, okay, what you do, bring all this, bring the baptism card, birth mm. certificate, and all that. Mm. I did all those. Mm. The same same day I was given yes. the waiting card. Yes. Some months to mm. my teen years. Mm. The following day I was back to that office mm -hmm. with the waiting card. Yes. <coughs> Presented. Okay, that's good. You wait for here. You wait mm. here. Somebody is coming mm -hmm. for an interview. Yes. A young man came in with a bag. Mm. Told me, come, follow me. Mm. Really? Okay. You know, the society has told us when you work hard in school, mm. you get a white collar job. Yes. I thought maybe I'll be, oh, you know, when I was actually around there, I was looking at the em desk. empty desks. Mm. Maybe I'll be sitting here and that will be my desktop. Yes. When you say like that, you do not have a computer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, computer literate. So the guy comes with a heavy bag, looks at me, tells me, Douglas, mm. let's go. Mm. It's me going to interview you. Mm. Oh, okay, okay. Mm. We left. Walked for about five kilometers. Jeez. Yes, five kilometers. The guy is not talking. Okay. So I was thinking maybe they have another office mm. in that particular town. Mm. The first stopover was a homestead. Okay, to me, I thought maybe that is where it comes from. Okay. 
Hello, madam. My name is so and so. Mm. I'm from uh, Prima Company Limited. Mm. We sell this, we do this, blah, blah, blah. He took off his bag, mm. got out some knives, got out some plates. Oh. So we have so good merchandise for you. So, still in denial. Thinking maybe they want to see if I will see the hardship in between mm -hmm. and surrender. Mm -hmm. I will listen until you tell me after this. Mm -hmm. After the presentation, actually, that Madame, he never bought, she never bought. <coughs> wow. After we've left, now you tell me, Douglas, this is what we do here. We sell merchandise and this job. Trust me, mm -hmm. you can drive within six months. Ouch. Really? <laughs> <laughs> if you can sell in a day 5,000, yeah. but still the mouth was not as much as they were not adding up, brother. Yeah. So be obedient because this is your boss. You know, you, you don't argue around. It's yeah. okay, it's okay. Mm. Went to another house, went to another homestead, went to another homestead. Mm. I remember we, about, we sold about three. Three in three, three, three merchandises. Three merchandises merchandise in exactly. one day. In one day. That was uh, about 400 shillings. Ouch. Ouch. Remember, you have been told you can drive within uh, six months. Which month is that? It's a lie. Okay, Douglas. Yes. I can see my time. Our time is really it's okay. running up. Yes. But I want you to, to briefly talk about <coughs> your book. Yes. At the end of the day, mm -hmm. what did you, did, did you take up that job first? At mm -hmm. <laughs> did you do that job or what happened next? So, bro, I did. I will tell you that because of the desperation mode I was in, yes. I had to do. You did the job. I was either to take it or take it because I had no any other alternative. Yes. Take up the job, work hard, sell that 500 in a day, mm -hmm. go back home, get your 50 bob or your 100 bob, go back home, at least you have something. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, in that confusion, I learned, I discovered that life is not easy. Life is not easy. Life is not easy. Mm -hmm. It needs some sort of courage, mm -hmm. some sort of strength, mm -hmm. and sacrifice yes. to make things happen. Strength, sacrifice, and courage to yes. make things happen. Yes. And you were able to move from that. Yes. Yes. Tell us, tell us now, how did you start writing? How was your journey of writing? Now, I've just left that place. Yes. Okay. Uh, within that, I became a teacher. Yes. I, saw, I actually did those merchandise selling for about three months. Mm -hmm. uh, leave that place. Now the, the results are out. Yes. I went back to class. Started yes. teaching biochem yes. as a PTA teacher. Wow. Did so well. Mm -hmm. And uh, now the time came that I was to join college. My year campus. And uh, I pursue my, my, my dream. Mm -hmm. my, dream uh, my dream career. Mm -hmm. Now... Uh, for about some, I, I, I taught for about a year or so, then I left, that's uh, when I was to join university. Okay. But things did not happen the way I expected. Mm -hmm. So what did I do? Mm -hmm. I began, I, I joined, now I came to Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Joined another company yes. that was doing sales. Mm -hmm. Now this is insurance. Mm -hmm. Someone told me, okay, you can do it, you can do it. God gave me favor. Mm -hmm. I saw for about some months. I was promoted to sales manager to, oh. to, to a sales manager. Mm -hmm. So in that moment, mm -hmm. I, I still had a push. Yes. But I, I know and I believe mm -hmm. that I was born mm -hmm. to be a grand master of inspiration yes. to Africa mm -hmm. and beyond. Yes. How can this happen? Mm. You're not talking to a man when you're broke, boss. You can't it's convince. Hard. <laughs> You can't because you cannot tell me God is going to lift in the next minute in yourself. And you look like yeah. you are confused. So it doesn't. Yes. So how do I do this? Yes. God gave me grace. Uh, uh, go some man now by this time my energy is growing. My, my dream is coming through and I feel like, okay, I need to start writing. Mm -hmm. Why should I write this book? Mm -hmm. To reach those people mm -hmm. outside there. Yes. To inspire them, mm -hmm. to make sure that a man is empowered, yes. to make sure that a man sees the value in himself, mm -hmm. not as an approval of what other people have, are saying, yes. but a self-approval mm -hmm. of yourself to bring meaning yes. to, uh, to the generation mm -hmm. at hand. Yes. Now, 
this idea I have, mm -hmm. I, I need to write. I remember starting, I, I, I did uh, three manuscripts, mm -hmm. doing about 30 pages, and I feel like, oh, it should not be like this. Mm -hmm. Put it down, start mm -hmm. another one. Mm -hmm. And uh, at a given day, I started this one, The wow. Focus Bullet. The Focus Bullet, that is a book. The Focus Bullet. Yes. Why? <clears throat> uh, having gone through the leadership, Mm -hmm. management. Yes. I've seen mm -hmm. how potential men, mm -hmm. how talented men mm -hmm. die poor. Potential men die poor. Very. That is one sad reality. Potential talented men, mm -hmm. they die poor. Mm -hmm. Have you ever known that even the table salt, you know, yes. is more expensive than a talent? Yes, what distinguishes great men and great women from average personalities mm -hmm. is discipline. Discipline. And discipline is there are a lot of things mm -hmm. that are come in. Mm -hmm. Focus, one of them. And as I've said, that we, we spread ourselves too thin, leaving ourselves uh, weak, mm -hmm. leaving ourselves are uh, confused mm. that we cannot pursue our great potential mm. built Ouch. in ourselves. Mm. So the focus bullet mm -hmm. is to make a man, a woman, mm -hmm. understand that I was born for a, a purpose. Correct. I was born to fulfill greatness. Yes. I was born mm -hmm. not by accident mm -hmm. but for a mission. Yes. To make a man realize mm -hmm. that there is power within myself yes. and this needs my involvement, mm -hmm. needs my, my attention yes. to make it a reality. Mm -hmm. That's why mm -hmm. when you go through this book, yes. you will learn about identity. 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 Mm -hmm. Because we have so much. Mm -hmm. We want to, 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 to bring every, we are copies of so many people. Yes. You see a celebrity somewhere there. I want to, I, I like want to be like him. <laughs> you see somebody else singing, you want to be that, yes. like that singer. Yes. You see Douglas speaking like this. You want to be like Douglas. Man, you're not Douglas and you can't be. Yes, you can't be all this. Exactly. <laughs> now, all this in one person. Uh -huh. Tell me, how are you going to be great? It's not. We are ordinary beings, mm -hmm. but we ought mm -hmm. to come out in an extraordinary way. Yes to manifest yes. greatness yes. within ourselves. Mm -hmm. We have so many people that are struggling today. Mm -hmm. You go to big organizations. Today we are talking, uh, if I may mention, yes. you've had so many big organizations, giants, mm -hmm. falling out of books. Mm -hmm. Because the people are assigned to pursue the mission and vision of those organizations. Mm -hmm they get involved in irrelevant things, leaving the core value mm -hmm. of, the, of an organization yes. naked. Mm -hmm. Now, if this is an alternative, mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. results won't come out as expected. Yes. That's why I come to tell you, mm -hmm. the potentials you have, mm -hmm. the talents you have, the abilities you have mm. need focus. They need focus. Yes. Mm. You need to say no mm -hmm. to things that do not pertain what you are born to become. Amen. Say no mm. to drug and substance abuse. Mm -hmm. Sometimes say no mm. to social media. Yes. Sometimes say no mm. to peer pressure. Yes. Not all friends. Mm can make you be that person you are born to become. Yes. 
No. That's why Les Brown talks of OQP. Mm -hmm. OQP, only quality people. Only quality people. Yes. And I stand, so I, 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 most of uh, of time I look around. Yeah. Which type, how, this type of a person I'm trying to hang around, yes. what is he bringing? Yes. What value? Is what he value? value? Exactly. Mm. We are so after so and so. Mm. Walking, oh, we are going to hang out. Yes. Really? Mm. Are you really contributing to your growth? Ouch. Are you really after okay. making yourself better? Until when, Isaac? Until yeah. when you're ready yes. to regularly, mm. consistently, yes. able to work on yourself, yes. to make yourself better mm. every day, mm. you will never be a champion. Amazing, amazing. I guess we can take a hold on there. Yes. And I want to take you to Imekimbia Sana, but I'm really, really inspired. Yes. This is one question I would really like to pose to you. I had mm -hmm. asked you behind the scenes, but I'm asking you right now. Yes. Are you planning to hold events where we talk about these real issues? Because I believe there is a gap in our society where mm -hmm. people are not ready to <coughs> confront these real issues. That if you don't focus, that if you don't drop people mm -hmm. who don't mm -hmm. matter mm -hmm. and focus on people who add value in your life, mm -hmm. you won't be able to progress. You yes. won't be able to achieve mm -hmm. the goals that are put in you and the purpose and the intention of God in your life. So mm -hmm. are, are you planning to hold such events? Do you hold such events that are, so that you can attend? Okay. Yes. Isaac, I'll say this. As, yes. I, as I told you, yes. I'm a, an advocate yes. of candid conversations. Yes. I feel mm -hmm. like there is a gap. Yes. This gap needs to be filled mm -hmm. from the youth, mm -hmm. from uh, the women, yes. from uh, actually to the men. Mm -hmm. There is a gap. Yes. This gap needs a strong, courageous, mm -hmm. and zealous man yes. to make it complete. Mm -hmm. As I've said before, mm -hmm. <clears throat> unless we are able mm -hmm. to drop some things yes. that are not necessary mm -hmm. to our dreams, to our goals, to our key mm -hmm. des desires. Yes. We won't Forget mm -hmm. about prosperity. Mm -hmm. Forget about breakthrough. Mm -hmm. We do it shallowly. Mm -hmm. The moment you discover yes. that, uh, oh, I am uh, not doing as so and so expected. Yes. I drop. Mm. <clears throat> because the 21 told me, mm. my friend, this one doesn't look like you. Yes. <laughs> now, if I, I want to start singing, for example, my voice, you know, when I start singing, at times it might look like, oh, yes. if somebody comes and tells me, Douglas, this voice, no. Yes. And I, I drop my tools mm. to listen. Just because someone told you. Yes. I'm pursuing a space mm. whereby mm. we are sitting down yes. to talk about things that are troubling performance mm -hmm. for the youth, yes. for the men, mm. for the women. Yes. I'm looking forward mm. for such a space mm. whereby real things mm. that disturb humanity yes. are broken down to sizable yes. pieces mm. to make a man a performer. Amazing. Yes. Amazing, amazing. Yes. I am really, really inspired, and I'm really hoping people will get go ahead and buy this book. The book is called The Focus Bullet. It talks about the real issues, and it helps you understand your identity. It's an That's amazing true. book by the one and only Buana Douglas. You have had... It is quite inspiring. Douglas, we are mm. really inspired oh, personally. Okay. I need to bring you once more. Because today okay. we have really focused on your story. I, mm. I, need, I need to bring you here mm -hmm. as also a speaker so that you mm -hmm. can be able to talk about these issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can I'll be able to address it. these issues. I'm ready. So, but for, for today, mm -hmm. I want us to put a hold from where we are mm -hmm. to what I want to work here or pending. Mm -hmm. But we'll bring, I'll bring you on another session where we're going okay. to talk about these issues. But for now, mm -hmm. let's do this. Mm -hmm. Let's do a pop quiz. Mm -hmm. A pop quiz. These are very, very basic questions about you. What was it that you to a speaker? Yes. And a writer and a mm -hmm. grandmaster of inspiration. Yes. Let them know your other side <coughs> logo. Mm -hmm. Douglas, what is your favorite food? Question number one. <laughs> Give me beef. 
and ugali. Ah, that is it. Uko sawa. Kabisa. Number 2. What yes. is your favorite destination? Where is that place you would really want to travel to yet you have not gone? If somebody takes me to Mauritius tomorrow. Mauritius. Ah. Uko sawa. Kabisa. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Number 3. Uh, what else do you love doing apart from writing? Is there any other activity you enjoy doing? Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> For fun, maybe a relaxing, reading mm -hmm. books, watching movies, or what? What do you? I'll like say reading. Doing? Reading. I like reading. You love reading. Yes. Any writer yes. is a reader. Yes. Number four. Yes. What is your favorite book, and what is the last book you read? The last book I've read. Mm. It's um, 5 a.m. Five Club by by Shama Robin Shama by Robin Shama. Yes, amazing. Yes. Allow me to leave it at that. But thank you so much for coming to the show. Thank it you for having me. It has been quite an honor. Thank you. So yes. where can we find the book if we are looking for the book? Where can we find it? Okay. Apparently, if you want this book, yes. reach out. Yes, you can <coughs> give out your contact. Yes, kindly. Reach out yeah. on uh, zero seven mm -hmm. zero zero yes six five three two double five. This book will be dropped mm. at your destination, your preferred destination. Where can we find you on social media? Get me on uh, Facebook, yes. get me on Twitter, mm. get me on Instagram, mm. get me on TikTok. Hey, <laughs> nice! <laughs> yeah, that is it. Yes, yes. Uh, W.N. Douglas. W.N. Douglas. Douglas, yes. Thank you so much, Gwana Douglas. We Thank are really you. excited. Thank you for having me. So that was all from us here at Sanana Michindo. <coughs> I am not keeping you anymore, but thank you for enjoying the show. See you next Wednesday as we start a new series on fashion designers. But stay put. Thank you so much for always watching Sanana Michindo. I was your host, MC Barat. Thank you so much. And this was Wemetin.